problem our particles uh, don't stop stop but accelerate so first uh, let's uh, remove this comment to so for this to uh, to make uh, our particles to stop we need to add a um, drag force to make a drag force and add it to our dynamics force creator uh, add like this right add from default and now let's test it again okay it's not uh, accelerating but uh, doesn't stop now so we'll uh, set timing to 99 time of and uh, let's set uh, set the force to 50 percent 15 percent 15 percent okay let's try it oh. now it's better okay let's make the morph target for for uh, uh, hydra or hydra so go back to particle view um, let's duplicate this by holding shift and dragging out code make it random uh, to uh, connect to the uh, uh, empty fall mm, morph target fall sorry okay same particle count position object will be add will be this object here and the starting it will start at uh, frame 100 okay and send them out to the same event let's test it hold control alt and right click and click on the uh, timeline and drag it to make it longer okay something like this and that's the try okay one frame 100 and we have our next target nice uh, so let's uh, render this First, we need to make our object not non rendable. So, right click, object properties, and uncheck this checkbox. Okay. Now, let's make a test render. We will not see nothing because ah, sorry, we'll see it because we have shape a shape of, uh, operator. shape operator so let's set the shape to cube and make it one uh, unit size the render this okay now we need more particles to do this we'll uh, go to particle view and uh, here's how it goes we need to change the particle amount from uh, from right if it's greater or from here if it's uh, lower why because uh, it it will access the gra uh, values and uh, if uh, those numbers of particles will have a lower number than this uh, it at, uh, at bigger index in the gra it will not have any value and uh, make our some problems so let's set it to uh, uh, thousand and here ten thousand and now s uh, set uh, in the dynamics flow uh, uh, event ten thousand okay let's run it and now uh, s uh, some tip for optimization uh, we say uh, we save uh, automatically the object position when the, this uh, 
particles more target are born and we send to this event so we don't uh, need them anymore so we can delete them after one frame delete by particle age lifespan one frame variation zero so for now if you run it okay we save their position it's more Here we will see the next morph target will come up and uh, save their position and delete. Okay. Nice. Let's make a test render to see what you have now. Pretty nice. Let's uh, add the uh, light in our scene. Only light. Put one here. And set a shadow shadow map. Okay. Nice. Really nice. But there is one problem, I think. Um, Let's render this. Okay. Go to next frames, few frames. No dynamics. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Here I Let's make another render. Okay, nice. It's working. Now, uh, this is how you render if you don't have uh, or you don't want to use Krakatoa. So, if you have Krakatoa, you can set it like this go to your render settings f f10 async render krakatoa open krakatoa gui and um, now we need to make the particle flow that are phantom type to not to render because we have some Morph targets that can uh, will r render if we don't set them to phantom, okay, and remove uh, them from Krakato. So let's uncheck this and go to our particle flow and set the uh, on the morph target flow the in the render uh, operator the type to phantom, okay. Now let's make it a surrender. Okay, looks nice. You can add more particles if you want, but the simulation will be uh, simulation time will be greater. It's your choice. So you can save it now, like mm, like this. Uh, uh, set it to active time segment or range range uh, if you know. If you want to render only a range of frames, choose your file where you, where you want to save. So you may save it like move, PNG, GIF, in our formats that you need, and press save and uh, and choose your parameters. Okay. So this is this is my tutorial. If you like it, rate it.
Ein Comment.